as you've heard, welcome to Slime Rancher 2. I didn't play a ton of the very first Slime Rancher, but with the sequel, I definitely had to hop in and have some fun. Slime Rancher is all about exploring the world and collecting a bunch of super adorable slimes. Now, this is actually an early access game, which means it's not technically finished just yet. They'll be adding more and more to the game and making a more complete product as we play along. So that'll be a ton of fun and I'm really just excited to get into it. I know Slime Rancher is super popular and is super well known for being a really fun game series, so I'm excited to hop into the sequel. So let's get started with Slime Rancher 2. After a long day of slime ranching, Beatrix LeBeau was enjoying a cool glass of carrot juice as she watched the sunset across the slime sea. Suddenly, a boat arrived at her dock with nothing inside but a mysterious letter. You have explored the far, far range from the dusty shores of the dry reef to the furthest reaches of the perilous glass desert. But there are worlds yet uncharted, Beatrix Lebeau. Rainbow Island awaits you. Climb aboard if you're ready for a new adventure. Ooh, I am. Especially since I didn't really play the first one. <laughs> Beatrix excitedly boarded the boat and it took her across the slime sea. Eventually, she saw an island unlike anything on the far, far range. Mountains, trees, and grasses all in an array of colors that danced and moved like a dream. As she explored, she found an abandoned conservatory overlooking the rest of the island. Curiously, it was equipped with everything a slime rancher like her would ever need to wrangle slimes, start a farm, and build gadgets. Well, that's nice. And so a new adventure begins. Beatrix tightened her boots, readied her backpack, and set out to explore Rainbow Island and uncover mysteries. Very cool. So, yeah, seems like a lot of fun. I like the little slime Game Boy or whatever that was. Very cool. Oh, so here we are. Whoa, it's so pretty. Let's get moving. So, of course, we can walk around no problem. Okay, so in here are some little slimes. Do I just hop to it? I can jump, I can sprint. You gotta get used to the controls first before we start ranching, right? How to vac like a rancher. Your vac packing can vac things up and store them in a vac tank. So, yeah, we can suck up this little slime and now it's in our back tank. And there's another one right over this way. Oh, the game is so pretty already. You vacked a slime. Slimes are key to your success. Shoot slimes through a coral barrier into the corral on the ranch. So, I guess I just, yeah, just shoot them out like that. Very cool. So, there's both of my slimes for right now. I don't see too many others around here. So, we might have to take a look around. Oh, there's another one. So, I'll run over to you, suck it up, and then toss it in. There we go. So we might just have to sort of take a look around, get to know our surroundings and catch some more slimes. This game is already super duper pretty though. But I never really got through much farther than the tutorial in the original Slime Rancher, so it's definitely something I want to experience with you guys here in Slime Rancher 2. Uh, I'm not seeing too much more to do around here. I don't see any other slimes to suck up, so is there anything else I might be missing? I don't know, we could go out this way. Ooh, rainbow fields, shifting colors like a dream, fading just as quickly. So we have more slimes to get out here, the pink sli slimes, of course, and we get some food, which I'm sure we could use for something. Next to a backpack, it's a rancher's best friend, the carrot. Oh, and there's so many slimes to get, so let's just grab as many as we can. They're so adorable, I love it. Okay, so there's that. Over this way, oh, a couple of berries too. Pogo fruit, the most common fruit fan on the range, and some say the most delicious. So definitely good to get some food and some more carrots too. I don't want to go out too far, I don't think. I don't know what this is. Whoa, but there's so many other types of slimes. So definitely worth it to look around and find as many as we could stumble upon. What's up here? Whoa, 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 don't fall off the edge. Like I said, I probably don't want to get too carried away to start things off because there'll be plenty of slimes to catch, things to collect, all that sort of thing. But for right now, oh, let's grab you. Whoa, whoa. Can I get you? I might be filled up. Nope, okay, there we go. So I have 12 pink slimes, a bunch of carrots, tasty food acquired. Foods like fruits, veggies, chicken, and or chickens are used to feed slimes. Try shooting food at pink slime 
Belly anything. Got you. So we'll send all these slimes back into this corral, which it can get filled up pretty quick, but gonna send in a bunch of carrots. They're all gonna gobble it up. And then why not some of the fruit too? There we go. Oh, and they're making things. What are these? You acquired a slime port. When slimes eat, they make ports. Head on over to the port market and cash in your port. So I got quite a few of them here from them all gobbling that stuff up. So, oh no, I might have to send the slimes back in, but uh, just trying to make sure I get all the ports and send all that out. There we go. So 14 ports seems like quite a lot. What can I do with all these? The port market. The port market gives you new bucks for your hard earned ports. Shoot a port into the port market and earn some cash. So right now, we'll just send all those in and get a bunch of cash you can see on the bottom right. We have 390. Rainbow Island awaits. That about covers the basics. Now it's time to get out there and explore. No matter where your adventure takes you, always keep curiosity and kindness in your heart. I would love to. So what are these things? Well, I guess these are the different ports that I'll have money for, but what do I really, you know, use the money for? I'm not quite sure for the time being, but we can activate this thing, basic player's controls. This is the Slimepedia. So I guess this is where we can learn different things about different things. So if I wanted to learn more about corralling slimes, we can see more information there. So if we're ever stuck on anything, visiting the Slimepedia is probably a good step. Oh, what's down this way? Whoa, it's like a whole cave. The Fabricator. The Fabricator allows you to craft vac upgrades and gadgets using resources stored in the refinery. Give it a try. Sure. Whoa, there's so much here. So we have things like the resource harvester, adds a resonator to the vac suction mechanism that shakes loose science resources from nodes in the environment. Interesting. A lot of these are pretty expensive and not only require new bucks, but also specific ports. So like this one requires a cotton port, but this right here, the heart module, requires 450 new bucks and 10 pink ports. It syncs with your body's own vital processes to enhance life systems, boosting health to 150. Plus, it's sparkly, so it can do things like get extra health and such. There's so much here. Whoa. Uh... The refinery. In order to fabricate gadgets, you'll need to shoot some resources in your refinery. Remember, any resources deposited into a refinery cannot be removed. Got you. So we got a lot of resources we could put in here. We don't have any of them, so we'll definitely have to figure that out over time, but I guess there might be just different ways to get around. Next to the cave and, whoa! Where am I? I'm over here. Oh, what is that? Nothing I seem, I, I can seem like I can access right now. Okay, now we're back out here. The den. This dark, damp, mushroom-covered expansion to the conservatory is a refuge from the sun for slimes and ranchers alike. This is pretty expensive, but this is a whole area to get into, so that's interesting. Oh, and there's other slimes bouncing around. Oh, for a second I thought my thing went away. I was like, wait, what happened? There we go, we get one pink slime just bouncing around there. I'll just try to, boop. Whoa, the super far shot actually worked pretty well. See, I wanted to sort of get to know our station, understand how everything works, can I go inside my home? Oh, I can. So here we can sleep, I guess. Um, I'm not super interested in sleeping at the moment. I feel like we have plenty more to make of the day. But there was a few things over here, right? Is this gonna be another area to open? The archway, an expansion to the conservatory set amongst ancient ruins and fields of rainbow grass. So we can't actually go over there. Oh, it's a chicken. I need the chickens. Yeah, hen hen, a hearty chicken bred to be twice as tasty as its cousins on earth. Very cool. Because we're not on Earth right now, we're on some foreign planet. It is so pretty though. I'm loving the visuals to this game, which I mean, I hope over time it'll only get better with it being early access. Guess we'll have to see. And what about this way? I'm just trying to learn the lay of the land, the gully. This expansion to the conservatory is surrounded by tall rock formations and covered in amber grass. So there's still a lot of the game to explore and experience, even if it is in sort of an unfinished state at the moment. Oh, and what about this thing? System offline. So I can't really do anything with that just yet. I'll toss a chicken over to them and see whoever gets it first gets to keep it. What was that, his little chickadoo? So little and soft, you'd think they're filled with marshmallows. So I don't know what I do with the chickadoos, but I guess we'll find out eventually. So yeah, let's get back to it. Look around and see if I can't find any secret areas, new slimes to find, that'd be great, because like we're out here. Oh, it's the boat that brought us here. Could we go back to the first area? I don't think so. Huh, interesting. Maybe there'll be more to do with the boat later. But for now, yeah, it's all about exploring and seeing what we can find. What about over here? Anything? Oh, there is some kind of little 
alcove or something. Uh, this might lead back into the the research center. I think so. Which, you know, it's good to make sure we didn't miss anything. Oh no, uh, whoops. You've been knocked out, but several uh, but several hours of rest should fix you right up. <laughs> okay, good to know. Welcome back. When you're knocked out, you'll rest for several hours in order to recover. If you're not careful, you might wake up to a mob of hungry, unruly slimes on your ranch. And speaking of which, they are trying to get out of here. Um, here, here. Oh, our chicken dude grew into a full chicken. I don't know what to do about that, but they're just trying to hop out. Maybe too many slimes for one corral? Because they are really trying to get out right now. Let's go and try to grab them some food. Are the slimes evil at nighttime? Is that what I'm getting here? Whoa, whoa! The phosphor slime. The softly glowing heralds of starlight. That is so cute, I love it. So there's a lot of those around too now. Would you look at that? Okay, so yeah, let's grab what we can around too. There's not too much food around because I took it all. So I want to be careful of that kind of thing. But more slimes can be good, but I think we'll need a second, whoa, corral. What about th this guy? That's a cotton slime. A hop, skip, and a jump. And a oh, it's gone. <laughs> whoa, it's gonna be a... What is this? Oh my, Largo. Largo slimes are large slime hybrids formed when a slime eats a core unlike its own. Vac to keep them on your nozzle and shoot to send them flying. So I can send you over there for now. So you can combine slimes by making them eat different things. That's crazy. There's so much to do here. Okay, uh, like look at you. See, so yeah, I guess slimes will make ports, of course, by eating. They will release those ports and then other slimes can eat them to, whoa, whoa, what are those, tar slimes? Oh, they don't look so friendly. Um, I gotta get out of here then, as soon as possible, because I don't think they're super nice. There's so much going on, this game happens really fast. No, leave the slimes alone! Get out of here, can I fight you at all? Oh, the tar, those awful ravenous rainbows. Whoa, and they're eating up all the poor slimes. There's too many of them that I can do anything about. Okay, come on, can I get over here? Just launch you out of the sea, ya buddy! <laughs> He's going to a whole other planet. Okay, come on, there's too many, there's way too many. Uh, I mean, that sort of helps, but oh my goodness. There's a lot going on here. There, whoa, they're, they're munching, munching on me now. I don't like this, I can't be dinner. I gotta get out of here. We're gonna suck up whatever slimes and pores and food we can, and then just get out of here and go back home where it's safe, I hope. Maybe I can pick up one of these big ones again, but I am all out of energy to run, so it's gonna be a little scary from here on out, but i pick you up, if you don't mind. Uh, not really working anymore. There it goes, there it goes. And then launch you way down. There we go, that's a bit better, right? Okay, so things are definitely safer back this way. Oh, but some of those slimes are breaking free. How do I get new ones, a new corral? Uh, a happy slime makes for a happy rancher is gonna be 250. I can afford that, so let's buy another one. And I will put this little guy, the cotton pink Largo, right there. So these slimes are breaking free. I don't know what exactly to do about this besides maybe just put them in the other corral. But yeah, we're gonna launch a few of these guys over, give you guys some food too. But I'm not really all that much, I don't really have that much food. Some cotton slimes. And then, oh yeah, I guess I wasn't picking up those ports before. I only have so much inventory space is the problem. Um, there we go. So I guess for the ones I don't have, yeah, I just send them out like this. That is so adorable though, I love it. So yeah, if we really want things to stay organized, we need to be careful of what we put with what because they're gonna, they're gonna pop out ports and we might not be able to um, actually collect them before the other slimes eat them. Where'd you go? I think I, I think I ate them up. All right, we'll grab you two. We have one more piece of food here. I'll toss it in there. Um, if I can, there you go. Then maybe a couple more there, a couple more here. So we have a couple more ports I can make the most of. Let's go over here. Oh, there's more carrots and stuff on the floor. That's useful. And I'm going to just sell these really quickly for some extra money, because I, I definitely need it. It's about daytime. I don't know when we're supposed to sleep, but I, I figure we'll just sleep for six hours. And return to the conservatory. Here we go. So there's obviously a lot I need to learn about this game, but as we're playing, I would love to hear if you played the first Slime Rancher. And if so, what are your thoughts on this sequel? Are you planning on playing it? Are you gonna wait for it to maybe be finished out of early access? All those kind of things. And if you guys have any tips for me when playing the game, I would love to hear all about it because I, I definitely need them. But I think for now, my main goal should just be to try to afford 
um, some more pens. Oh yeah, I, I need the port. Wherever I can get one, but send these guys back out. And I'm sure there's gonna be a bit of a learning curve figuring out what to do, but there are different things I can do, like get higher walls, high corral, higher corral walls, ensure that even the bounties of slimes will have difficulty escaping. Things like a music box, which will play a soothing tune that greatly reduces slime agitation, air net, lots of stuff we can afford that'll make it easier to keep our slimes contained. For now though, I don't think it's worth worrying about too much. I think we should just go back out there and see what else we might be able to find in the world because I'm sure there's plenty of things waiting for us. Lots of it to explore and just adventure and enjoy. So hopefully uh, the big thing I really need is more food. And there are so many slimes just bouncing around, but I have so many pink slimes. Do I really need more of them, you know? Okay, those are still growing, I think. So we don't want to mess with those too much. And that's where it could be a problem. If we have too much at one time, there won't be enough to go around for the next day. So I guess managing our resources is pretty important. What is this thing? I don't know. Uh, huh. Oh, I can break it. Whoa, big money. That was cool. And I also got to get a couple of extra carrots there that I missed. So I guess that was a pot. Very cool. What is this thing? An upgrade is needed to harvest this, so it's just water. But I guess we could harvest some water at some point. It's so interesting. There's so much to find and figure out. What about this area? Feeling a little bit more beachy. I don't think we can make it up there, but I might be able to break this thing. Uh, open pod. Oh, what are we getting here? Whoa. Whoa, we got a hydro turret. Blueprint acquired, a defensive cannon that will automatically target tar and blast them with water. That is so cool. But speaking of a pot, we do have one right there. That'll give me a little stony hen. Has a rock solid conviction in chicken stuff. Okay. Very neat to find things like that. And I do get some kind of berry. I can't really, I'll have to come back for it because I, I don't have the inventory space. So that's another thing I need to prioritize. I don't know how at the moment, but if I could get more inventory slots, that'd probably be a pretty big difference maker. So before we get carried away going too much farther, um, yep, more slimes are popping out. Let's just get what we know we already have some of. So carrots, oh, those are not pogo fruits. Those are Q berries. Um, is that a stone hen? It's not. So we'll come back for some of it for sure. But if there's ports to grab, I can grab those, no problem. There you go. I hear them munching on stuff, so that'll be some more easy ports for us. There we go, much better. Oh, there's a little nest here. Gotcha. This game is so adorable so far though, I love it. Okay, so we'll come back for a couple of things. It would be cool if there was some kind of chest or banking system. So far, I'm not sure if there is. But hey, eight plorts, that's enough for me to get another upgrade somewhere, somehow. Have our slimes broken free. That's one thing I'm worried to go over and see. So far, no. That's nice. If right now, I wonder if I can make the shot. No, that's, ooh, whoa, catch it. There we go. There's some crazy physics in this game so far. There we go, 320 of them. And I have some food to temper our slimes a little bit more. They are hungry, you could tell. So there we go. They'll, we'll toss all that stuff over. The carrots for the cotton slimes is probably pretty good, right? But I think that what I need to do here, oh no. Uh, first off, send you guys back over. But I think maybe some of the cotton slimes need to be in their own thing if I wanna be able to get cotton ports. I think that's just one thing I need to keep in mind. Uh, because what's happening, as you can see, oh no, is that they're all combining. And that, that might not be so good. Are these big ones or what? No, no, they're smaller ones. So let me get all the cotton slimes here. See, what do I do about that? That's crazy. Uh, there seems to be a bit of a messy situation. Um, I will toss over a couple of pogo fruits for you guys. But I might just wanna make a whole new corral over this way. Activate new corral, and this one is specifically going to be for little cotton slimes. Just like that. I think that'll be a big difference maker. We got a couple of extra ports waiting for us now. I definitely wanna grab up as much as I can. But the Largo slimes are definitely problematic because I can't, you know, suck them up really. So I'm just trying to get as many of the normal slimes as I can. If I could get them all together in one thing, and then maybe just make it extra tall, that's probably a better move. 
because it seems like we need a little bit of everything to make everything work, you know? So first off, I got a lot of the slimes there. Gonna cash in the 11 I have here, giving me 180 in total. I don't think I quite have enough then to make the high walls. I need 260, that's more than just a thing. It's interesting, uh, just like a uh, corral normally. And I think these guys jump extra high or something because they're getting out no problem. They want some food, I'll send one in, it'll keep one of them happy. And I'll take that. And I might just sell it for now because I really need the money. I'm guessing, yeah, you can see the different rates. This gives me 25, so that's pretty good. So we need to go out again and find more food, which I, I did see some before, of course. I wonder what's up here. Exploring around seems to be a huge key to success as well. So, you're really getting to know my surroundings. Grabbing some extra carrots like that seems to always be a good idea. And these are ready to be grabbed now. They've been growing. It is coming up on the end of the day again, so maybe now we can just, you know, grab some of this stuff. Ooh, there's a bunch over here. So some ports as well that I really can't do much with, unfortunately, because um, I just don't have the inventory space. But you know what? I know what I'm coming back to then. See, there's definitely going to be a little bit of growing pains, I think, at the beginning of the series that I hope you'll stand by with me, you know, to figure out because I really don't know what I'm doing. And they really jump high, oh my goodness. And they jumped out of that, no problem. So I'll get them back in there in just a second, I think maybe the best way to handle this. Actually, yeah, let's do that. I'll feed you guys as much as I can. There we go. Now I'm just gonna feed these guys up with all the carrots. And now they're gonna be jealous that they jumped out, right, huh? See, so yeah, I get in there. Um, and I will get some of the ports. Not the carrots, just the ports. There we go, much better, much better. Um, and I'm just gonna sell those really quick, just so I have a little bit of extra cash. Oh no, I sent one flying. Not what I wanted, where did it go? Come back! There it is. And once we have some cash flow, I think, figured out, it should be much, much easier to figure everything else out on top of that. There we go, so we're at 330, that's much better. So, if I get these to be double high walls, high walls, okay? As you can see, much taller, no way these little bunnies are getting out of that. Okay, so, grab those. And now I need to basically do the same thing on the other side, so once again, we're going to be spending some more, but we should probably go to bed soon. There we go, 220, I'm almost there. Okay, so, oh, there's some more ports waiting for me on this side. I guess they sort of just get around, don't they? So I'll send out a bunch of these little guys, just like that, because what happens is they get feisty from not getting fed enough, and they start jumping around like crazy. Okay, I wish there was, maybe there's an upgrade I can get that would make it so that I could uh, only collect a certain item or something, that'd be nice. Okay, sending you all back over there, going way back over here and launching some of that stuff in. I missed both of them. I gotta stop with the trick shots, I guess. There we go, that should be enough. For the double high walls, that's all we really need. And for these little pink guys, or the, the, the cotton uh, slime largos, I don't know exactly what to do with them. <laughs> I guess we can figure it out over time. The Cotton Pink Largo. I mean, I guess they would make both kinds of... What's it called, right? The, wouldn't they make both kinds of... Okay, let's grab you. There we go. Of plorts? I really don't know exactly how that works. And those are the kind of things I need to learn as we go along here. There's still one last little bunny over this way. Wait, no! Did you just turn into... I guess you just did. Wow, poor timing. But you know what? It's getting a bit late. I think, you know, there's a lot of these cotton pink Largos bouncing around that we're just gonna ignore. They're having a good time. They're not hurting anybody. Uh, we'll figure them out in the next day. But for right now, let's sleep until morning. Seems like it's important not to stay up at every hour of the day, right? Sometimes you're good for Slime Ranch and sometimes you gotta focus on other things, like sleep. So some of them are feisty because they're hungry. Whoa, maybe that wasn't the best idea. I got one in, the other got fl flown out. Okay, the problem is they're all instantly hungry again. So maybe having a huge ton of slimes isn't the best, you know? Maybe, oh my gosh, <laughs> see ya. Uh, maybe just having a few of each is a more effective solution. So maybe I should only have five to 10 pink slimes and five to 10 
of these guys, you know? Because if not, they all get feisty from being so hungry. With that being said, what do I do with them now? I feel like, you know, I'm responsible for all these guys. Can't just send them in the ocean or something, you know? It would be cool if I could sell them. I don't know if I can sell slimes. Yeah, there's just too many slimes to collect, you know what I mean? So we can't get them all, it's not Pokemon. But I'm sure there'll be other things to get around here. First off, I wanna go out and get some more of those glowy ones, but I think it's not you know, the right time of day for it, so might not be able to get any. But there were some floors waiting around here before. I'm sure there's plenty of food to grab up too. But I do have to keep in mind, I didn't really do a good job managing my inventory. So I might send out this Hen Hen. Just get some other things instead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cause there's gotta be some things to get around here, right? Right now we can get the cotton ports, no problem. So I'd like to build up a bit of a collection. What is this thing? Research drone, accessing GG log. Well, here we are again. I'm sending the drones out to all their original scouting locations. Once I confirm the conditions are the same, I'll get to work. This place. I still remember being in awe of those, these rainbow fields. It felt like being in a beautiful dream. And I guess in a way it was because it ended much too soon. Huh, so I guess we have different drones like this to talk to. I've gotten that one now. And ooh, there's more of that water stuff down there. What is this? It's just another hen hen. Is it a different kind though? No, I think it's, I don't know, hard to tell. Okay, they're making more ports for me. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, they just pop out of the rocks? That's funny. And even more of the little bunnies. I mean, I think I'm on the right path here. There's so much to find though. Oh, and there is a map. That is super duper useful. I wonder how I am to chart out some of this. Cause as you can see, it's very foggy, but some of it isn't. So maybe I should go to the not foggy areas. This is just where we were. But a lot of this stuff I couldn't afford to really get to just yet. So that's odd that that stuff, oh no, is open on the map, but other stuff isn't. Either way, I can at least grab a bunch of food. There we go. I can get all of that too. A lot of this has already been gobbled up by different slimes. I don't want to get too sidetracked, but at the same time, we're not too far into it. There is still so much more to explore. That is crazy. So I'll be figuring that out over time. I guess right now my goal would just be to, wait, where am I now? Uh, okay, so I guess I, I, I sort of made a big circle. Gotcha. My goal is just to sort of see if I can't find a way to make the map work. There might be something I can buy or upgrade. Whoa, look at all those carrots. That was a bunch. Okay, so I don't know what to do with this one chicken, the stony hen. I might just send it out. I mean, I feel like it has to be good though, so maybe I should keep it. Whoa, they were just plopping out all over the place today. Come on, can I get those? Yes, I can. We're almost filled up on them, actually. But for right now, I can make the most out of the carrots, which I feel like the little cotton hens would like those the most. I guess we'll see over time. For right now, though, I got a bunch of food, a bunch of it. So hopefully my slimes back home will appreciate it. They haven't gone crazy with hunger or something like that. The bunnies are still bouncing around. Ooh, some of these guys are trying to get out, but yeah, let's throw in some food. Ooh, they are hopping all over for it. They're celebrating. Got it. And then you guys over here, I think you'll get the carrots. Just gonna send five in for now. I wonder if they'll become Largo just on their own, just by eating a lot. Okay, so yeah, take the port. I might wait for them to finish eating first, so I don't accidentally take any of the carrots back. There we go. Pretty good. So, is there any way, is it, yeah, the Slimepedia? I wanted to see more about these slimes. If there's anything, like we get the pink slime, the diet is basically everything. Their coral hue is scientifically proven to be the color of cheer. We have the cotton slime, which specifically seem like they enjoy fruits and vegetables, but their favorite is some kind of blueberry. Yeah, okay, so interesting. So we can get some deeper information here. Like um, the phosphor slime likes those little strawberry things, which I think is what I wanna get next is the phosphor slimes. I think having a little bit of each would be a good idea, right? Anyways, I have a lot of materials and I could end up selling it or 
I can look to see what other upgrades we might be able to access down this way. So there's a lot of interesting things going on around here. With this one, you know, we have the resource harvester. Uh, I, okay, so the, this stuff mostly seems to be so I can run around and get around faster. Improved nano storage cell technology allows your vac tanks to hold 30 units of whatever you can vac up. So more of what we have, but... Oh, a jetpack too? Well, you need like a lot of stuff. Radiant ore, I don't even know what that is. And adds an extra general purpose vac tank. Okay, I think this is what I'm looking for. I would need new bucks, silky sand, and rock ports. Gotcha. Um, so things like that is super good to keep in mind. Uh, for right now though, what about this? This is the refinery. I don't exactly understand what this is. But as far as I understand, maybe I could... Uh... Oh, no, I did it wrong. I think I could put this in there. And maybe it'll make more of it? Hard to tell, hard to tell. I'm not entirely sure of it. We'll figure it out as time goes on. And then there's just different ways to exit. Okay, so I'm back out here again. <laughs> Getting a little lost. Hello. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I did not mean to do that. Whoops. Okay. Uh, we should definitely be careful for what we have in our inventory then. See, so yeah, what if I... This might be a good time to experiment. I'm gonna feed you a carrot. What port do you make? That oh, you do make both. So those can be more lucrative because we're getting two ports for the cost of one slime. So maybe I should have more of them? Hard to say. Hard to say. I mean, they jump so high that like... It's just hard to keep them contained, that's the big thing. But do you really need to keep them contained? They're gonna be chilling out no matter what. What else do we have? Music box, that'll reduce their agitation. The air net, an air net is a force barrier that covers the top of the corral. It can take a few hits before needing to recharge. The solar shield will encase a corral in dim shade, protecting slimes sensitive to light. Oh, that's what happened to all of our, all of our slimes before, the, the, the shiny ones. Pore collector, here we go. That's 500 though. Pore collector will vacuum up two types of ports in, in a corral at regular intervals, depositing them into a storage tank so long as space is available. So I think that's what we need to do. But is that a storage tank? Is there a storage tank we can access somewhere? I'm not entirely sure. Cause this is just uh, the Slimepedia. Yeah, so there's still a lot to figure out here for sure. I think for right now, I'm better off just selling my stuff to make money and upgrading things with that. So there's that done. And that gives me 266 of them. You are getting launched there, buddy, aren't you? Uh, maybe I could just try a music box, but even that is expensive. So you know what? I'm sending in a bunch of carrots. I'll have been sending this rock chicken just to see if that does anything, if you guys will eat it. And it looks like you will. Come on. Okay. See, this is where it could be a problem that there's so many of them that it's actually hard to reach the ports. Which I guess is a good and a bad thing. Go. All right. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I got him, sort of. Oh, that's the most I can hold. I maxed down pink ports. So, back over this way. And cash all that stuff in. Make a good chunk of cash. We're at 418, so we're already making good progress with that. I just want it so that we can have the port collector. I don't know how quickly that will work, but just over time, we'll get some extra ports out of it. But this has already been a ton of fun, just figuring out you know, how the game works and how we can get different things. But of course, it's sort of a management kind of game. But it seems like we're only scratching the surface of the different things we can do and figure out. So we'll go back over. Oh, that time I got it. <laughs> Send those two in as well. And now we're at 534. So that should be enough for the port collector if that's what we want to do. So, uh, where is it? Port collector, buy that. Costs a lot of money, of course, but, uh, oh, there's a coop we can build too. Yeah, that's another thing I do want to take a look at. But for right now, you know, we have the port collector. I'm gonna have a ton of slimes in there. It's because I don't know where else to put them. There we go. Now I need to make a bunch of food for them. And that's where I want to look into some other things. You know, over this way we have a corral, but we also have a garden. Nothing beats the taste of homegrown food in your backyard. I think that's what we need next. Um, we have a coop where we can make chickens or keep them happy. 
a silo. You can't take it with you when you go, so put it into storage. And then an incinerator, don't need it, burn it. And a pond, what are you going to do with this? So actually a lot of cool options there. I think we wanna do the garden first. But to do that, I need to go and grab more food so I can feed our current slimes and then get more ports out of it. But then, you know, I think we're getting some good foundations figured out. Obviously, I'm probably not doing things the most efficient or practical way. That's just naturally what's gonna happen when I'm playing a game like this for the first time. But as things go on, I think we'll figure it out more and more. We'll do a better and better job. So let's grab some of those guys. And when it becomes nighttime, we gotta make sure we don't sleep. Because I actually want to be able to stay up and grab some of the different phosphor ports, I think they were. Ooh, here's some carrots I can grab. No problem. These slimes are all so happy though, I love it. Huh. Not too much over there. A lot of stuff is still growing. Oh, but here is a bunch of stuff, and I already see some fruit, some quartz. All for the taking. Go. And oh, what is this? This is something new. The Rainbow Island is getting uncovered. Oh, that's great. So now we know a little bit more about how this works out. So one out of 14. We have many more of those to find. Map data acquired. Discover map data nodes across the range to uncover more of your map. I would love to. Oh, and these are the little blue things. Those were these guys' favorite food, which means they produce two instead of one. Ah, that's efficient. Good to know. So I will definitely have to keep that in mind. If we see that little blue fruit, we should definitely grab it for our cotton slimes because they will produce extra ports. And it seems like a lot of the different slimes have favorite foods. You can check it out in the Slimepedia. So that's at least a good chunk more of extra food and stuff and some extra ports found along the way. I'll keep poking around, of course, just in case we can find one here or there. But you can see we went up there a little bit, but I couldn't get all the way up, I don't think. I'll try to take another poke. But just sort of understanding the landscape we're in and how to maneuver around it would be pretty important. Oh, here we go. More ports. Take those now while I get the chance, you know? Got it. Get some more. And what about over here? So this is where I found that one pop before. I don't think it'll come back, or maybe it will. Okay, so I guess the pots respawn. That's really nice. So I can break that open and get another couple of chickens and stuff. More than that, I got some money, which is always good. But there's a way up there. I guess if I had a jetpack, which is an available upgrade thing. Okay, well, in the meantime, I guess now might be a good time to head back home. I wanna see how that port co-op collector might work out. Oh, here's the other pot. See, so yeah, these respawn over time. So definitely good to return to them. Grab some extra cash from it when we get the chance. And we're back, little slime friends. I hope you haven't, you know, caused an uprising while I've been gone. Doesn't look like it, so that's good. Hmm. How do I wanna handle this then? I think for right now, we'll fire a bunch of food go. Of course, they're gonna make a bunch of stuff. But how do I actually collect what I've, I've gotten there? I'm not sure. Oh, over here, right? Um, Activate. Oh, here we go. Yeah, take all my stuff, please. So it's gonna suck all that up. And how do I get it? Um, Oh, I just, yeah, I just vacuum it. There we go. It's actually more than I can hold at the moment. So I'll be back for the rest of that. Very, very cool. So let's get to launching it over there. Oh no. Oh no. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> uh, wait, got it, there we go. So let's get some money from this. That is going to get us to 344 in total. Really good stuff. And it's getting a little later in the day, which is excellent for us. Grab some more ports. Activate it, just to see what it finds. It looks like that's it for now. So I'll grab these four and sell those off to you. But first off, what is it gonna cost for us to get a farm? And I'm sure they're hungry. I'm sorry, I'll get you fed soon. Uh, the corral, or not the corral, the garden, gonna be 300, or 250 out of our 344. Shoot a fruit or veggie into the depositor to begin growing more of that type. That sounds perfect. In the meantime though, uh, 
Since I don't really need much of these, we'll just launch them all in and get even more cash. We're up to 206 again. Very cool. So I need to go and get some fruit and veggies, and now might be a good time to try because I also wanted to get... Whoa. Here, let's maybe send you over there. I don't know if that's gonna work out or not, but... If I could get some extra food while we're looking for the phosphor slimes, I think that would be a good idea. Yeah, so we got some extra carrots here. And hey, here you are, little guy. So there's our first phosphor slime of the night. Hopefully we can find some more as we're running around, but beyond that, I am fully focused on grabbing some food, and there are plenty of carrots and uh, pogo fruit to grab. I think one, yeah, just popped up right next to me. So there's a whole dictionary of slimes to get an encyclopedia of them, right? That's gonna be cool. I'll try my best to find them all, of course, but that might take a lot of time. It seems like a very involved process to find them. Look at them all just running around. Whoa, okay, that was cool. Both of them jumped out at once. I might not need the cotton slime though. I might send them back out in a moment. Okay, there we go. <laughs> it's getting really dark out. Just trying to grab as many of the phosphor slimes as I can for now, or at least a good chunk of them. I saw another one, there you are. I think, you know, having five to 10 of them would be pretty good. We have a little uh, fort right there. Fort's such a silly word. And what else do we have? More ports waiting for us. Not a ton, of course, but a couple. When there's not those tar things, it's actually very peaceful during the nighttime. I like it. Okay, so I think we did good enough with our current haul. I just wanna bring that back. What I do need to figure out is making it so that the phosphorus lines are protected from the sun, because if not, they end up just getting hurt. You build a garden, yep, so I want to make more carrots, I think, or actually maybe more of this. Let's see. Okay, so it's growing that one now. I don't know how long that'll take, but we can get some different upgrades, uh, like nutrient soil. Nutrient soil contains compost from the rainbow fields and minerals from the Ember Valley. Makes crops always yield maximum harvest. We have things like the sprinkler, which ensures that your crops are always watered, making them grow twice as fast. And then we get the scare slime. Um, the scare slime is a stuffed tar model designed to keep wandering slimes away from your crops. I feel like I need something like that. Very cool. So good to keep all the kind of stuff in mind. For right now, I think we're fine. I want to drop off all these little phosphor slimes, which hopefully they don't jump high enough to really get too upset, right? And then I, oh my gosh, it is crowded in there. I'll throw in 10 of them. Oh my gosh, you giant. That was scary. Uh, and then we'll throw in five over to them, and then I think the rest of the five in there. It's so colorful. Oh, they are out and about already. Guys, I need you to chill out with that. Oh, I can't pick those up just yet. Oh, no, I can, I can. So we got the uh, the phosphor ports. I would want them to stay in there, though. <laughs> okay, this might be a little pricey, but we're gonna see the solar shield. That's 425, oh my goodness. But that's what I want. I don't know why they're trying to get over there. This is where all the fun is at the moment. Let's do that. Activate this thing. There we go, that's gonna get us a lot. You get out of here. Um, and what about over here, we get one. Why are we only getting one? You'd think we would have gotten more, but I guess the pink one takes precedence for some reason. The phosphor slimes really do not wanna be in their quarters. That is not so good, but it's okay. We'll figure it out right now. One, two, one, two, three. And then I need to deposit these 20. And that does get us quite a lot of cash. So maybe enough to at least, the thing is that feels redundant, you know, is that even if I get the phosphor slimes, the little thing, they're not gonna stay in there. So I think we need higher walls first off. Then try to get them in there again. Do that, launch you there. Where'd you go? Here you are. And you, got it. Because if you guys get caught out in the sun, I don't think you last very long. So I'm just trying to help you out. Because they just, they jump so high. So how much more do we need for this? About 200. I think I can make that work. I haven't gotten any of these, so. With these three slimes, hopefully we can make some, you know, some kind of successful endeavor. There we go, that already gets me to 368. We're getting closer and closer. Let's throw the rest of the, this food. Oh no, you better not be eating that food. 
Okay, it looks like, uh, it's not available yet. Can you just go out there or something? Yeah, go hang out. But I will launch those two over. That should make at least a little bit more food for me, right? A little more ports. Activate. I get one. Come on, there's gotta be more than one. No, that's it. Okay, well, it's not the easiest to manage a slime farm, but I think we're doing what we can with what we have, you know? At this point, I just wanna look out for any little scraps of food I might be able to discover, or the hens. The hens can be helpful for feeding the, the uh, slimes. Hmm. More of them are popping out into the world. So many of them, actually. The problem is, I just, I don't have the means to manage them all. Is, is the thing. I would love to take every slime in so that we could all become best friends and be a gigantic slime family, but I just don't think it's feasible. We can only take a few. If I could just, you know, keep searching for some more food while we have some growing at home, that would be great. So some carrots and some ports waiting for me is actually excellent. So obviously we don't always get to the food first, but what's nice is that when we don't get to it, we at least have some ports we can make the most out of. I'm not seeing a lot of pink ports, so I might just leave that for food for now. I mean, I guess it's, you know, it doesn't make too much of a difference. Yeah, that's what I activated before. Hmm. Oh, definitely get the hens wherever I can, because I already got a couple of them. What are they all going up to up here? They must sense something. Oh, is there a little cave? Refinery links. Refinery links conveniently transport resources and ports to the refinery where they can be used exclusively for slime science in the slime research lab. Huh. So like, obviously I have one there. I don't know how many of those I really need at the moment is the thing. Whoa, what is that thing? Oh no, didn't want to do that. Give me that back. Oh, and there's a the little pot again. What will this one have? Another one of those strawberries that I can't quite get, the Q-berry. Oh, now I can. Um, Delicate, sweet, and they never roll off the table. Very cool, so I think that's the favorite for Oh, what are you guys? You're so cute. Hold on. Wait, what are these? I need to see. The tabby slime. The stripes, that tail, that wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh, I love it. That's adorable. Okay, well, there's there's too much cuteness going around here. I can't handle it. Um, I, I need more inventory. I think that's like the number one thing I feel like I need to focus on in the game is somehow getting more inventory slots, so. We go out here and we don't actually run out of space, you know? That'd be much better. So I'm trying to head back home for the time being, but I got some new slides already. Every time we go back, we come back, or go out, we come back with something new. Isn't that neat? Okay, so yeah, I think for now, oh no. I hear the scary music. I think the tar, yeah, they're coming back out. I don't want to deal with that. Not for right now. Eventually, I guess we could build that turret thing we unlocked. Don't quite know how that all works. But I do need to try to build up some cash real quick, because we need to keep these guys protected. They can't jump out anymore, and that's great. Uh, so I'm going to launch all that stuff right into there. And that is 583, I think that's enough. I think it was only 500. So let's see this. And the solar shield to keep them safe. It was only 425, so we actually have more leftover cash than I anticipated. So. For the Phosphor Slimes, take a look at the Slimepedia. Their favorite food was that strawberry, which I didn't keep because I wanted some of the Tabby Slimes. And speaking of, where was that at? Right here. The Tabby Slime a diet, its favorite thing is that rock chicken. Um, those stripes that tail that wiggle wiggle wiggle. I don't know too much more what they do beyond that, but we can just keep selling different things and hopefully you know, it'll make up in cash because I think the Tabby Slime is 31. Oh, wow. And then the phosphorus is 26. Okay, good to know. So I guess we'll just throw out some cannon, or cannons, carrots to you guys. Ooh, and let's grab this stuff over here before others do. Uh, yep, just like that. And did one of you get out? How did you manage that? Here we go, here we go. Don't worry, I got you. Oh, I actually don't have the space for you, so. I'll launch those three over. Hey, you're upset because you're hungry. I'm trying to feed you. So they can get out quite easily if they're motivated enough. I'll launch one right there for you. Okay, so let's see what this gets us. It's some. 
So we'll gobble some of that up, some of this too. Oh, that, that gave me one more. I think that's it for now. So, you know we made some money. I feel like we did some good work in today's episode. What is that doing up there? Do that to me. Again, we need those ports, but I'll get those in just a second. It's a very addicting game. I'm always like, okay, one more, one more, one more, and then I'm still playing, still playing. So I think we'll wrap things up here in just a moment, but so far, so good, for sure. I guess I don't like carrots too much. Oh, it's so dark in here. That is actually really relaxing. You want a carrot so bad. Okay, buddy. I don't know. There's just not enough room for everybody. I'm gonna send you back out into the wild. Good luck out there. <laughs> it's a little mean, I know, I'm sorry, but. I'm just doing what I have to do. Okay, so made some extra cash there. So there we go, there was our introductory episode to Slime Rancher 2. I've had a ton of fun exploring around, finding these slimes, so if you guys wanna see some more episodes, definitely let me know. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Slime Rancher 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.